Greetings everyone, just wanted to um, guide you through our mini moon training video. Today we're going to first to start with the lay of the land. Um, we're going to talk about these four items. So let's go ahead and get started. Here is our view of mini moon. This is actually my mini moon site right here. And as you can see, um, this is uh, it, it's a real live working site. Right here, this at the very top, um, these are the different teams. You can be members of multiple teams. I'm actually still a member of NASW Arizona team even though I'm not working with them anymore. I am um, also, the, this, these buttons at the top are for mainly management administration purposes, so we're not going to cover those today. That's mainly for the manager. What we're going to talk about today is this button bar and then this area down here. So let's start with this. The activity is kind of like a Facebook news feed. It, kind of, it lists out what's been happening on the project and when it was happening. Here's some things that happened 30 minutes ago. As you can see on my activity feed, it's all me because I'm a single person shop with um, a freelancer and so I don't have any team members working on my projects. However, I still need the project management software to keep me up and moving. Uh, but you'll see that all of the activity is me. If you're on a team working with other people, this is really nice because you're able to see who is doing what and who's been active doing what. This is the list of tasks. So these are the different tasks that I have on my different projects. If you happen to have a task that has an important document, you can connect that document to that task. And here are the list of all of the documents that are uploaded to Minimoon. The same thing goes for links. If you have a link that's important to one of your tasks, you can attach the link to there. And then you can go up here and you can see all of the links that you've uploaded to Minimoon. The events, I don't have many um, for the nature of what I do. However, if you have a committee meeting, this would be some place where you could put the events. Then over here on the More button, there's timesheets. And this is actually something that I use because that's how I track my different time on projects. And then this is also my connections. These people right here are all Mini Moon users that for whatever reason I'm connected to them through a project that I'm working on. And these may not be my own internal Tech Tools projects. This is actually a Mini Moon project that I'm connected with him on this. So um, that, that's the rough button bar here at the top. Now what we're going to talk about is the difference between the home bar and the um, different projects. So the home bar, when you're on here and when you click on tasks, you're looking at every single task in every single project. Well, these are all of my projects and I don't want to see all of my tasks for all projects. I want to go and take a look at my project called New Website Creation. So when I click on here, it will, able, it will take me to only things related to this project. So you can see now that this button is highlighted and at the button bar is the same thing. It's very similar to what we just covered, the activity, the tasks, and this now is only regarding that one project. One thing that's new whenever you look at the projects is the milestones button and I will cover that a little bit later. Um, milestones is a, a really nice feature for projects but I'll cover that more in depth. But again, here's the documents that are related just to that. I don't have any. There's no members besides me working on new website creation. But again, the same button bar. I also want to show you the templates. This feature is a very neat feature. You can click on templates right here. And in the templates, you can view people who have created a project. People have actually created a project right here for new website creation and have populated it with their own milestones and with their own um, to-do list, their tasks list. So I'm actually going to go in here and look at the web WordPress design and this looks like a really nice template. It's also got some really neat milestones. Gosh, I think I want to use this template. So you click Use Template and it jumps into your projects. That's actually where I got this tab right here, was from this template. As you can see, the template has many different categories. Event planning, uh, sales, marketing, support. So you can use any of these templates. You can browse through and find different templates that works for you. The template feature is a very neat feature to have. This concludes this first video. Thank you.